Hi, this is Louise McNaught and this tutorial is a step-by-step -step guide to how to draw the face of a wildcat. To use a method called gestural drawing, which uses basic shapes in a sort of fluid way to create your main piece. With a big circle, just loosely drawn like this to create the main structure of the outside of the face. And another smaller circle further down to create what's going to be the nose and mouth. Going to add some basic ear shapes at the top of the circle, like this, which are sort of atypical cat ears for any cat. It doesn't matter how rough it looks at this stage because we're gonna tidy it up with a rubber later on. So the next bit we want to do is mark about halfway down the circle, a sort of curved line like this. This is roughly where the eyes are going to go. And to help us place the eyes, we're going to do another circle, medium size this time, inside the large circle, lightly like this. Yeah, along this line, we're going to mark a sort of straightish line down to the bottom of the circle here and another third of the way across, we're going to do it down to here to give us the rough shape of the nose. And then inside this, we can roughly mark out where the eyes are going to be like this. So now we're going to add a bit more detail to the eyes so we can give them more of a almond shape like this adding the pupil roughly here in the center and do the same on the other side extend this a little bit beyond the circle as you can see here it's not quite a perfect circular shape for the head so loosely gesture that in to give a general more feline shape to the face the nose isn't perfectly round the sort of mouth to nose area so again kind of roughly gesture that in it's a bit more tapered towards the bottom like this so you can see uh, they have the sort of fur coming out here and here where the, the skull meets the ear and the ear shape again is a bit more tapered so you can draw it in a bit more gesturally like this and then we're going to take the shape of the eye down a bit like this so it doesn't have such a surprise look it looks a bit more intentional and you can see the pupil basically meets the top of the eye now and to make it look a bit more fierce you can do a bit of shadowing under the eyelid as you can see here it, the forehead creates a sort of big shadow so now we've got the basic structure i'm going to add in some detail of the fur around the edges So now we've softened the edges with some of the fur. Um, I'm going to add some details with a darker pencil. This is a 5B and add in some of the shading. Then shadowing down the side of the nose to bring that forward. So now we've got the main shading and the structure of the nose and we're gonna go in from the cheeks towards the nose with with the rest of the shading and you're basically following the line of the fur um, with your pencil to create the shading. So now we're going to do the same following the fur towards the nose on the mouth and then we're going to add it on the chin.
and we're basically going to carry on doing the same up here with the shading following the line of the fur so it kind of goes up in the middle like this and then you can see it goes along in a kind of general direction like this And finally, the last bit to do is the outer cheeks and inside the ears. Do the whiskers. Now, there's two ways you can do this. If you're feeling confident, you can literally score them in with a pencil freehand like this. Or if you're feeling a bit more nervous, you could get a lighter pencil and then lightly sketch them in till you're happy and then carefully draw over that with a darker pencil. It's whatever you prefer, really. They also have these sort of little um, hairs coming out near their eyes, kind of, I don't know what you'd call them eye whiskers anyway so so yeah so that's basically how you draw quite a detailed wild Another cat episode that focuses on the whole of the wild cat so make sure you subscribe and tune in for that um, also let me know because this is my first long tutorial so let me know if there's any other animals you'd like me to cover in my tutorials and leave them in the comments below I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. I'm heading back to my studio now to paint some more wildcats and I'll see you next time.